The following video is not endorsed by Dutch Springs. And welcome to a brand new episode of Lewis's Adventures with me, Lewis, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. I will be going back to Dutch Springs for some scuba diving once again. And hopefully, unlike last year, where my camera died on me while diving. Hopefully I'll bring you some more underwater clips from the dives I do up there. And unlike last year, I will be joined this time by my friend Brandy Epicott, who I know from the Adventure Aquarium, and of course my friend Tony Levitt's daughter, Lori Warren as well as we'll be doing some dives around Dutch hopefully I will find the sites that I want to dive during this adventure well the day has come stay tuned as I head up to Dutch Springs for a wonderful day of scuba diving and I hope to bring you enough footage from the dives I'll be doing. Well, Lori and I had arrived at Dutch Springs, which of course, we had to get settled. Which of course, there was an hour long delay, which we had to wait to get gear up at the Blue Koi shop. And I was dealing with a little anxiety until Zuko, a Nova Scotia duck tolling Retriever, who's owned by one of the people who work at the Blue Koi shop, was there, and he was very friendly and cute. And of course, then later on, myself, Pat, and Lori geared up, and we dove down in the quarry. And of course, at the time, I was dealing with bursitis in my left elbow, which made it difficult for me to put my gloves on. And of course, I used up a lot of my air during this first dive. But of course, one of the greatest moments of this dive was when Pat took us over the crane, as you see here. And then, afterwards, he took me and Lori to the former SEPTA president conference trolley car or PCC for short as well which of course this trolley car which you will see soon after this clip was known as 2255 when it was in service with SEPTA it had a bicentennial scheme on it and it said New Jersey on it and of course it was scrapped after it was vandalized but it was sold to Stu who of course after 41 years I wish him a happy retirement even though he sold the quarry and of course there's a fight to save Dutch Springs 
and preserve the future of diving there. And of course, because the developers of the site who want to make some warehouses said they want to donate the quarry for swimming and scuba diving and other things. And of course, hopefully someone will come along and accept the offer because I enjoy diving here at Dutch. And of course, I had fond memories of diving at Dutch in 2006, including getting certified to dive there to even Jesse Fredlin getting certified there in 2019. And of course, last year's video. And of course, as you see here, Pat is in front of me as we're inside 2255. I'm familiar with the layout of a PCC car due to the fact I've written them on SEPTA's Route 15 line before. And of course, I leave you to the rest of this track. Well, for dive one, when I went down in the quarry with Pat and Lori, one of the things I got to do was visit the former SEPTA PCC car known as 2255. But of course, the downside to this dive was that I didn't have good air consumption. The dive only lasted for 24 minutes for me. But of course, this was mainly because of being out of the water for a year. Eventually, my air consumption will come back to me like it did prior to what went on in 2020. Even though I had a good wall dive for dive two, I was battling bursitis in my left elbow, which it prevented me from putting my gloves on. And when we got to the cabin cruiser, my hands got cold when we were close to it, but then after we passed the cabin cruiser, we had a good wall dive. Pat did great in leading us through the wall dive. Well, I didn't shoot footage from the second dive, mainly because I wanted to focus and concentrate on improving my air consumption. Which, of course, I did stay down for the second dive for 37 minutes. Still a good dive, and I'll never forget that. Well, I'll never forget going back to Dutch Springs again. And this time, we were on the peninsula side, unlike in the last video, when myself and the others were on the student side. We still had fun. I'll never forget diving that SEPTA PCC car. And of course, it was great to see Brandy again and her husband Chuck, as well as one of the employees I know from the Adventure Aquarium, Alexis, who was learning how to scuba dive herself because of her ambitions of being a marine biologist. I'd like to congratulate her and the other students that Brandy and Chuck had during my adventure. And of course, one day, hopefully, I will dive with her, Brandy, and Chuck outside the aquarium. In the meantime, this is Lewis saying, thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times when heading out, wear a mask in public indoor settings, practice social distancing, wash your hands, carry hand sanitizer with you, most importantly, get vaccinated, and of course, stay safe, stay healthy, and together, we are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not out of the woods just yet.